Alright, the last part, uh, it started to, the, my webcam started to autofocus. Luckily it was like the last two, three minutes or whatever. Oh, there goes a squad. The squad. I'm surprised there's music. There's a lot of rooms in this school that didn't really serve a purpose, you know what I mean? Alright, let's, uh, see what's going down in the DMs. Actually, I'm gonna talk to everybody first. Sakura's gonna be watching over us, so we're definitely gonna find something to help us bring this to an end. We're all gonna get bodies right here. <laughs> Naturally, make sure the one that's just such a bravery. So make sure you don't get in his way. Fuck off. Hmm. We finally reached the climax. Uh. So let's hurry up and finish it before the match of my catch is all. Let's hope this is the climax. Let's go. This bird exposed every last detail of the match of mine. Everyone ready? Sorry, I like a press the key, so. Nice. Hmm. It's locked as expected. So what are we gonna do? It's not just gonna tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but the rules say we seen that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter. But but like Makoto said the mastermind did show up while we were in there. So in other words, then we'll have to just finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but what? We come this far, we can't back down now. We agree this is where we what we have to do. So we have to do it. We literally just walked to the door. We didn't really do much of it. So beautiful. I mean, for serious, we need genocide jewelry right now. What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually, okay, but how are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. You know, it's pretty sturdy. If I want it. What about that one thing? The one more? Oh, the pickaxe. Oh, I'll so then. <laughs> I'll just hold on. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hmm. I didn't talk all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, we left the gym. It was just nine. It was just before nine o'clock. So it's probably nine on the dot now. It's all clear. Now. Okay, we'll get the pickaxe and be back here by nine oh one. That's true, but reasonable. I know myself. Naturally. Surely you, surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's, <laughs> if it's me and you time, master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll raise your existence from my consciousness. Yeah. <laughs> Unacceptable. What that stuff will ran out of lot as I heard of rabid elephants. Hey. For serious though, are we just gonna knock this door down? Hmm. No problem. No problem to solve by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Where the hell did she go? We know the danger, but that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we need to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um... Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flap busted. No. I'm totally flat. Flap. What the fuck? Fap sauce? What? Fap sauce? There we go, that's what we needed. What? What? Gross, where'd that come from? Wait, yes, I do. Where'd you come from? You called for me, and so I appear. That's very true, I did call for you. Hello, hello, the wonder wonderiferous. Wonder? What the fuck? Murderer? Oh, you know, whatever. Here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. <laughs> Alright. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I'm supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. <laughs> seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level break. <laughs> what the fuck? Here comes the bloody nose. There she is. Did you forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Oh, Omega 3 fatty asses, that's Jimmy. Great for the old memory factory. I think we already said that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, uh, the light bulb just went on. I see. That's why I was in the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> uh, we solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery. Hmm. Have now we need to figure out that certain age. Yep, now we just need to figure out the identity of Object so, X. Um... What are you talking about? <sighs> you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. You gotta be kidding! I'm not missing out on life, in fact, I found one in the garden. What, what did you find? <laughs> Co or pus. Did you, did you hear me? I said a corpse. A corpse? Yep. That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. Oh, oh you shit, it's Kyoko. <laughs> I found a corpse. You found a corpse in the garden? What? what did you say? Well, then, before we head into the headmaster, we're going to preview something else. Come on. Into. We're going to the garden. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kyoko's dead. Rick Kyoko. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Oh, spit. He's got red nail polish on. 
saw I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask on their face, and there was a noise bigger than their stomach up the hill. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, boy. Who is it? Did it just what? Did it just change? I know the text changed the color, but just to make things clear, is he gonna tell people about it? Last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. Okay, so clearly when they died they had red nail polish on. Now they don't. And whoever that was, they know they're. Cause it looks like red nail polish to me. I don't know why, but they're laying dead in front of me. I told you the corpse hanging out here. No way! Are they really dead? Is it really a dead body? What? Let's begin looking around right away at the power of me. Be ever so careful to know what you want to find. Now I'm taking the body out. I think that's Kyoko. Because they're wearing the same shoes. They're wearing the same boots that she wears? Oh fuck. If that's Kyoko, it kinda sucks. Then the way to tell with the mask on their face like that, and the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victims are told in this, but one thing I do know is that what are the suits they attacked me last night in my room for what? How did they wind up in here? Did you take off the mask? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing, all of a sudden their life has come to a complete stop. Thanks to the night that's been driven into their stomach, the cold is staying up right away. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Because you don't touch me, get some more. Uh, um, I can be so calm at a time like this. Who is it? They're facing my new so I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? How can you tell? Well. I'll just the outline of her chest, and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really, it could be. <laughs> okay, then. Yes. Let's just turn the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, go no. By the time he called out, it was already too late. Took his hand, shot out toward the mask, and in the next instant, oh my God! All right, so it's a good thing that they didn't grab the mask. Damn, the blood was in a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up. It blew up. It blew up. It blew up. Took was dead. My vision started to darken. I thought I prepared to pass out. Come on. The big party can put out the fire. And the consciousness that tended to float away. That voice reached up and pulled me back to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands, it was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it. Okay. Yeah, perhaps the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Put a blanket over it. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. Shit. If it's not killed, because they have brown hair. I guess that's a care of it. Well, what the hell, man? It exploded. What? What I had a bad say? feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body. Toko's fucking gone. It's burnt to a curse. That's beyond well done, man. Don't well, compare it to a steak. I'm never able to eat steak again. It was in a chunk of the body. But now the body's charred. I really have no idea. I'm gonna find out who it was. Hmm. Who is in here right now? Huh? What? If you consider who's not here, I will quickly narrow down who it was. I don't want the person to be yeah, we know about the 16th snow again, so... Uh, um... It's Kyoko. Kyoko! I don't think so. The man did find it's Kyoko. No, they can't be right. Oh no, I didn't say it was Kyoko, but, but I knew who else. <laughs> there is one other person. Another one. The Mastermind. What? 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 The Mastermind. What the heck? Come on, there's no way the Mastermind got charged Get serious. Hmm. I'd be known with the idea it wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it makes sense. Oh, the match might be dead when it's been that other matter, wouldn't it? Oh, well, cool, I can hardly move around if it's master is dead, right? But... But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. And we remember what the eagle said. So the same person may very well be the master who grabbed all this stuff. And according to the problem, your monster is a man in his late thirties. Oh yeah, I did forget about that. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this world now. The heck? Even the mastermind is some middle aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously is. What could that mean? The mastermind. Is it the headmaster? Is it a teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Mukuro Ikusawa? The 16th student, I'm all speaking about my music. What? 
What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16 student here in the school. What? I think you better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was. Well, bro, eat the seven. The seventh time I've heard this. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Muko and Kasaba in the original room. No, the headmaster is the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't know, Kyoko, but I don't know, I'm right. So it's actually right. There's another student in here, and it's a female, that would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermind-y, doesn't it? it be? Oh, the mastermind is this girl, Muko, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair? But if she's been hiding during this school, it's a teenage beautiful. I should want to burn to a crisp. What the heck? Now this makes any sense to just suddenly show up and then die. I think we better take a close look at that body and maybe some clues that we figure out exactly what it is. I like how nobody cares that Toko got blown along the way. Oh, uh, hey, wait. What? Um. Are we forgetting something else? <laughs> and there it is. What? What? Why she totally got blown over, huh? <laughs> Forget about her. <laughs> Yo, Miyaki, you want cold, please? I'm sure the exploding explosion back to vapor, I think. Oh, there she is. Oh, she survived. Oh, she's... Oh, she survived. Oh, what just happened, Master? You declare for the whole world to hear that you will never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. Oh, what the heck? This is the strangest bag of what I've ever seen. It's the grossest. Oh, let me touch this body. I have to go close to the hand here. I should tell Makoto she may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching her body all that much. I'm not killed by her. Oh, I'm touching that body. I'm going all in. Oh shit. Is this Junko? What the fuck? Ju okay, I know this is weird that I just remembered that. Junko had red nip that I let me. Nail polish on. I'm pretty sure she had long nails too. I thought that just came into my head. Hold on, there's something on the ground here. I gotta check this, I get it. Isn't this the body? It's it's a key? So what Kyoko took from you, Amakumi? So No, she still looks different. Let's see that. It's really the key she's doing here like Kuro. I really do like that. Then this key is... What? What is it? What? Did you find something? Yeah, there's on the ground in my body. I've never seen it. this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even if you don't know them, I'm going to give you a very important task. I see. I think that's the data lab. That key might give you access to certain areas you thought we were locked in. So in other words... The lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm room on the second floor. The dorm room on the second floor. In your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. Can I just get some help? I guess let's start from bottom, uh, top to bottom. Was there a room that said it was raw or whatever? Right here. Isn't it like in the cup somewhere? Over here. Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Look how little bit different about before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key, I found the button for the keyhole. The key isn't close to fitting. Okay. That's not bad. Let's go over Alright, let me go this way. They highlight where you're supposed to go. Keep the door to the data center. This was definitely locked. That was right. This is the key to the data center. I managed to unlock the data center. If all that money were paid off, I had to go tell anyone else. You need to get back to the card. Why would you go check it out first? Here, back under the door. I found out the key to the window to the data center down the fourth floor. Get into the data center now? Interesting. Well, why did, why did the deceased have that key on them? Hmm. 
we we'll have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Somebody should stay with the body, please. Hmm. Here we are. The door is still um. Again, they do the body. <sighs> hey, so when you open that door, you're gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? Uh, um. You're asking that question now? Hmm. Don't, don't worry, we have Makoto. Nice. What? In other words. It's in your hands. Again? <laughs> I mean, they trust you. An absolute lie. That's an absolute lie. I'm just using me. You. I just eat. Oh, I guess everyone's there. I reached out for my hand with the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind with a silent prayer. I slowly opened the door. Uh, nothing happened. And making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. Oh, damn. This place looks lit. So, this is where they were. And in a word, the room was. Strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? What? He extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look at what they're showing. Yeah, it's every room in the school. Each monitor is in a different section of the school. The doors, the classrooms, each part. Every part of the school covered. This is what? So they feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. And they're displayed here on these monitors. So that's it. But the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. To watch us. And this room is it's all clear now. The mastermind's private room without a doubt. The mastermind's room. Guess that makes sense, so the mastermind is here. What is he doing? I think it settles it. Huh? Hmm. The body in the garden, if they had the key to this room, it could only mean one thing. That was the body of Muko Ikosama if she was the mastermind. Oh. And the mastermind is dead, like really, really dead. It would seem so. For serious. <laughs> it's too bad they have to go and die before Master could kill them himself. What the fuck would he do? The mastermind is dead. But that really be true, does that mean it's all over? Because I need that body. Watch, we're gonna go over there and that body's gonna disappear. Whatever happened, I obviously didn't die in natural death. So we will be dead. What? Mastermind really is dead. Let me mean, finally get out of this house. How about that? We gotta hurry up and find the exit. That's enough. Now we have to check this area thoroughly first. How about the exit? <laughs> mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whatever we decide to. But right now, <laughs> we can find out why the Mastermind set up this life death game in the first place. <laughs> and I'm bothered by the fact that the Mastermind is obviously murdered. <laughs> Alright, look, if I was a hero, or if I was anybody in this situation, I'd be like, Deuces, I'm out. I'm the fuck up the way. So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Hmm. The state of the course makes it plain as day. There is absolutely no time. The mastermind was not. What? Has it got to be that way? I mean, we could have we done it. Such ignorance. That's exactly why I would be. I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the uh, master. I'm plan. telling you! Now that you understand the useless insect, you're banned from talking to master ever again. The mastermind's purpose and why they were killed. This one may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the mastermind wants to spend who knows how much time. Hmm. Let's begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. What's your problem? Uh, I need really to pay anything uh, useful. Um... And now I'm gonna shut the hmm. Look, that makes that TV. The TV is How about that? It's, it is. It's just like the one my grandma uses, it's totally one of those high def antennas. Wait, so if we hook that up. So if we hook up that antenna, we go watch TV. Huh? huh does almost say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning heat is here. Hmm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. And we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come you on. You know? I'll start for info from the outside world. Hmm. Alright, let me work my magic. And you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? Who fucking knows? Even though everything's on this side. Let's check these monitors out the bottom of the camera. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance camera will fun. So why would the mastermind have a surveillance camera in their own? And they're actually there, but how many cameras do they have anyway? There's a ridiculous number of monitors here. 
I don't know how to do this, huh? Look at Master Gold. It's like a feast for the eyes. How much is a, a monthly membership? Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck away from her. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high performance species, nothing like an ancient laptop. Also, egos and soul. Hmm. They're all alone, but they seem to be alive. But we can't do anything, just use your fighting spirit to force your way. Hmm? What century are you from? Mastermind's been using. That, but there's no point in talking about it, think about it now. You're right. Let's check out this room. This room is kinda creepy, I think I'm gonna cool on it. It's a lock, what the hell? Um, no lock. The door is locked. Oh, oh what if the key that Kyoko has is for this room? Give it a try just in case. Still a lot, no good. It wouldn't fit in the key. Yeah! Well, don't worry about it, everything's fine. The match point is dead, right? So, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, I guess you're right. I doubt that. Can't stop thinking about the door with the one cool push on. Don't worry about it, it's gonna do me any good. He was right, the match point is down, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know? Mm -hmm. huh? oh, 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 what's wrong? Mm. Good news for all of you. Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV right there. Really? Mm. All we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Uh. Freaking idiot match point, all you guys. All you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside the world. Heck? And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. Nice channels. Oh, nice. Huh? Oh, is this? Is that feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this? What room? the heck? That's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Mm. <laughs> You're weird. Weird in every way possible. You're not just weird. You're super weird. But. But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So I was just showing the camera well, feed. You should change the uh, channel. Um, oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. Here, I'm going through each channel one by one. Let me guess. It's going to be each of those monitors. But on every channel, it was just us. Um, it was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Is it broken or something? Could it be? It looks like some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Oh, what if it's like a fucking reality show? Reality TV show? A trick? What kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? What? It's over. <laughs> oh, this should've been a while, you freaking master. Monokuma, how are you supposed to be dead? I mean, dead only freaking stupid. What? You're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Of course. Of course, I'm different. Every evolution is perfectly natural. I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh, I think it's been like half a day at most. Uh, How are you alive again? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a... Uh, the look on your face right now, sublime. That's what I wanted to see, the moment you were poked to despair. Don't tell me you pretending to be dead. All for this moment. I want a bear pretend to be dead. You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, there's so many laughs on it. makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. Well, now. And that's it. Well, it's almost time for me to cut off your past, so full of hope. I begin to despair at the future ahead of me. Oh, you don't have a more fun. Oh, can we? Oh, I oh, have way more fun in this game. Oh, man. Feel like this to keep going. Let me out of here! See, y'all should have did when you had the chance. No, we're supposed to, we're supposed to get out of here. Get out of here. You still have some getting out of here? Unbelievable. How do you not get it? There's no, there is no getting out of here. And besides, yep. this life isn't all, this life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like. You won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, then that means you're in despair. Well now. I'm pulling from all that life, I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point. Hey, um... You guys really gold when you found that TV. It's indeed that you've been such a part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding secrets sometimes. What the heck? But I connect with the, the antenna, so why is it not showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look at how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming in from in on the antenna. Huh? Oh, but what does that mean? What the heck? It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Oh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'm just telling you. Kills, chills, kills! And there it is. I had a feeling. I was hoping it wouldn't be that. But once it showed the surveillance camera feed, I kind of knew it was going to be dead. 
What? Extreme! This killing game is being broadcast live from the world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Doesn't matter how many times it says that, I just... I don't know what it's supposed to be. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. Huh? I just lied the entire world. What a bad joke is this? That's... Okay, look at Yakuya's face. It can't be... Let's take it over the airwaves so much. I can't remember being broadcast. No way, that's impossible. Here. That kind of old talk is a major weakness in the crisis management system, you know that? All I need is one weird trick that I found out. Like hijacking the airways is easy mode. Are you being serious right of now? Of course! I heard it kind of creepy, creaky, but the sound was coming from my own mind. As I both dug in the ocean, my mind began to creep. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know? All those things I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about this whole mystery. Even me learning you're here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was often the captive audience to show the true spirit, like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of the spirit based production. This is the ultimate reality show you guys in. The spirit entertainment. You're lying, it's simple on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. But they think it's a reality show. Um, yeah, there's no way they would have to try to come rescue us. Actually, but they already did. Oh shit. Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come there to help? Mm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know a person that uh, person right now, so whatever. This can't be. Let's take control of all communications like that. We need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yeah. So how? Yeah, so how? So how things oh my god. Yep, so how could things have come to yeah. fire? That's a secret. Something all you need to do is one person that's right. Of course! What the hell is little things uh What the fuck? It's nighttime. A body has been discovered! What? Why is it showing up now? After a certain amount of Yeah, yeah, really. Huh? That's trying to be me. <laughs> it's the Monokuma file! Everyone give it all you can have, okay? Pounding excitement. You're gonna get pretty crazy from here on. Oh, uh, you're in for the I can't wait! Ride. I can't wait! Fuck. And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. Oh, all we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, but I, 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 I had to just to keep myself stable. Uh -huh. I don't understand any of this. What's the spirit entertainment? And how is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally we get out of here. Yeah. And plus, what did he say about the class trial? Stop talking. Well, the part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point we need to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Makuru because I was the one who died. <laughs> The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monaco was still alive and active, that was the mastermind. Damn. Makuro Ikosaba is a dead man. So naturally that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There's no other possibility. He's got brown hair though. The body is Kyoko's? Kyoko's been here. <laughs> no, it's not possible. Because because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have an end like this. I believe it. I refuse to Quiet. believe it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe it, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Yourself. Anyway, we better begin. But we're gonna have a class trial. Then that means the killer. That's right. Her knows me someone Here. participating in our school life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, so sorry. Wait, so you're one uh, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Uh, well that's not precisely what I'm saying, huh? Uh, uh, but you just said stop talking. I don't have time to explain. There's a veritable amount of issues I need to confirm, so I'm gonna begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. This is how this game works after all. That's great. Well, what the hell is this music? Well I better start by checking out the Manakuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were all dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been- <laughs> This music is lit! They had also been struck in the head with an object by a stick of the metal pipe. What? The body was covered with other wounds. 
these were at least several days old. So even the monocle was filed in the telescope they picked up the mechanic it was. The unidentified body could really be killed for all of them. I have no choice not to investigate, I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what I have to find out what happened, or all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the crime. Okay. So this Monokuba file is very particular. I don't know if you guys remember all the time because I can check anywhere they may be important from at one end to the other. I just need to do it that I always do. This, this Monokuba file is extremely like particular. The one with Sakura, all it said is she had one object come to the head that's it. This one tells like everything. She even had a wound from before and stuff like that. Alright, it's getting exciting. I actually want to do this one, so I'm probably going to do it like right after. Thank you guys again for watching Sharp for the Intrusions, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, let's find out whose, whose body this really is.